The Arcadia Rama program is used to design bar structures. In the program, we can additionally perform static calculations according to the second order theory. In the program, we can also calculate the structures that contain tie elements. I will start introducing you to the Arcadia Rama 3D program by discussing the main elements of the graphical interface of the program. First, I'll load a sample project. I click the left mouse button File, Open, and I'm looking for a file called the Multi-Slope Roof. I select the file and open it. The Arcadiorama interface contains many elements, a calculation model of the structures displayed in the middle of the screen. This is the program's workspace. Now I will show you the basic operations in the program workspace. I am using the scrolling function of the mouse. My model is getting bigger and smaller. Now I press the left mouse button and move the mouse cursor. Now I can rotate my model. Now I click the right mouse button and I can pan the view of the model. At the top of the screen, you can find information about the name of the program, about the license, and the name of the open project file. At the top of the screen, we have the top menu of the program. In the top menu, we can select the following options. File, Version, Edit, View, Tools and Help. By clicking the left mouse button, I expand the options of these menus. Below, we have a panel with the buttons or functions most often used when working in the program. At the top right of the screen, there are buttons, for example, Show Hide Node Numbers, Show Hide Bar Numbers, Show Hide Local Bar Layouts, and Show Hide Dimensions. When you hover the mouse over the left edge of the screen, a panel containing the project tree appears. This tree lists all the elements defined in the project. This list includes nodes, rods, and supports, for example. By clicking the left mouse button on the selected item in the list, we can display the subordinate elements. After hovering the mouse cursor over the right edge of the screen, a panel with four tabs will appear. Those are Geometry, Loads, Results, and Design and Verification. Using the option on these tabs, we define the calculation model of the structure and display the resulting calculations. At the bottom of the panel, we have, amongst others, sliders changing the display of the structure model in the work area of the program. and buttons for changing the view. The screen lock button. As well as the screen centering button. Here we can change, for example, the mode of inserting bars. By clicking on the icons, let's turn on or off a specific mode. Here, for example, we can enable or disable the orthogonal mode when drawing bars. Here I can also enable and disable 
the display of the global coordinate system. The global coordinate system symbol appears in the lower left corner of the workspace. The global coordinate system consists of three axes, the X, Y and Z. The Z axis is the structure's axis of gravity. We must remember when defining the structure that the self-weight of the structure acts parallel to the z-axis and it acts downwards. <laughs>